Hi, my name is Matt Widgery from FramedPlanet.com. I am recording this on my iPhone 6 Plus. Why am I doing that? You might think when I've got a perfectly good camera that I normally record these videos in, which isn't all handheld and shaky and, um, and, and you know, everything else. The reason I'm doing this is to make a point, and that is that some iPhone 6 Pluses have been affected with an a, a issue which is affecting the, um, the camera, the EyeSight 8 megapixel rear-facing camera on the back of these units. It's not affecting all of them, and it doesn't appear to be affecting the iPhone 6. It's only the iPhone 6 Plus, and it is units which were manufactured between September 2014 and January 2015. If you've got one of those units, and I have, I've actually, there's a, and I'll, I'll link this up, uh, if you go to frameplanet.com, I'll put the link to the article in the, uh, uh, in the uh, description of, the, of this on YouTube. Um, if you're looking at it on the website, then have a look underneath the video, and there'll be a link there to the service page um, that you can put your serial number in and check if your camera is one of the ones that's affected. My one was, um, so I've got to go and get a part replaced. What's happening is that the, 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 the camera, in some cases, is um, there's a part in there which is failing, which is making the pictures blurry. So I can only assume that that is either something to do with the focusing system uh, or it is um, something to do maybe with a part getting dislodged and the lens is, is moving out of, uh, out of position and maybe that or the sensor maybe could be being moved out of position and that's making the thing go blurry. At any rate, um, you put your um, you put your serial number in and the serial number, by the way, if you go to um, on your iPhone 6 Plus, if you go to settings and then go to the general tab uh, and then uh, you can scroll down um, from there to about and then um, scroll down and then you'll see serial number as one of the things on there so you go settings general about and then serial number will be on that menu so click on that and then type that number into the form which I will send you the link to on in this in the bottom of this article um, or if you're on YouTube have a look at there'll be a link to the article on frameplanet.com in the show notes underneath this so have a look at that um, what it then says is that there's three choices. If yours is one of the ones that's affected, you've got a you've got three choices available to you. Um, you can either um, find a, a, an authorized an Apple authorized service provider, and you can take it there, um, or you can make an appointment with an Apple retail store, and there's a, a click that you can actually make an appointment online. There's a click through for that, um, or you can contact Apple technical support. And again, all these have um, little buttons, so you can you can click on there, and that tells you how to do that. So it should be fairly straightforward. Um, it does say that the wireless uh, carrier providers are not taking part in this, so don't take it back to where you got your phone from if it wasn't from Apple, the Apple Store. If you got it from a provider, um, you know, if it was um, Vodafone or, um, you know, 3 or whatever in the UK or Verizon or whatever if you're in the States, um, don't take it back there, only take it back to the um, to, to Apple directly and they're doing it direct. Um, and then it also says that you need to back up your data to iTunes or the iCloud um, before the replacement process, just so that your data is secure. I don't know exactly what they're going to do other than replace the unit. I guess they're just being super cautious on that. They don't want to lose any data, so make sure you've done that. Um, the other sort of warning note they put on there is that if you have... Um, any damage on the phone which could affect the camera, which impairs camera replacement is what they're saying, um, then um, you will need to resolve that issue prior to the, um, the repair being done. So if, if, the, if the screen is cracked, um, they're saying, um, then that will need to be sorted out first. You'll need to get that replaced. And in some cases, there might be a, a, a cost associated with that. If they've got to replace the screen to get to the camera underneath it, um, they're not going to be sort of picking out broken glass and what have you and then putting all that back. So you're going to need to basically pay for a screen um, to get that resolved. Um, that's what they're saying there. Um, so bear that in mind as well. Um, so put your um, put your number in and just check, um, you know, if you've got a phone um, any part, you know, at the beginning of this year or, or late last year. Um, and I guess, you know, that was the point of manufacture. So it could well be that they were selling these units up through until, you know, first quarter of this year, potentially. Um, I think that's when I got mine, actually. I, I, I can't remember exactly when, when I got this phone, but I believe it was probably, you know, March, maybe something like that of, of, of this year. So obviously this is one that had been manufactured during that time frame um, and was just, you know, it was then in shipping or whatever and then, um, and then in a warehouse somewhere before it got out to me. So it was one of that batch. 
So even if you think that you had a phone which you bought much more recently than that, um, just be aware that it could still be an affected unit and it's worth checking. So that's all I've got to say on that one. I thought I'd just give you that little bit of a heads up um, and uh, hopefully your phones are not affected, but if they are, that's how you get them sorted and Apple will sort the camera out for you. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you appreciated this video, heads up, please give me a subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube by uh, clicking the big red button that says subscribe on it underneath this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.